3, Fantasy Modern TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. We're talking hitters on May 4th, and we're going to start out with the number of 8, which is the number of steals this season for Billy Burns. All of a sudden, after that slow start, after losing playing time to Coco Crisp in the outfield for the Athletics, Burns is on pace for 45 steals. That's why you drafted Billy Burns to steal bases. Looks like he's going to do that. However, the rest of his game is lacking. 302 on base percentage is really bad. Obviously, no power to be seen. He's on a 20 RBI, 60 run scored pace. Now, both those are numbers, RBIs and runs, should improve as the season wears on and he plays, but they're concerns. Right now, he really looks like a one-trick pony. At least he's doing that after what was a very slow start to the season for Billy Burns. The next number is 346, which is the batting average the last six games of Lorenzo Cain. Good news for a guy who started out very slowly. Barely has a 600 OPS this year. Only a couple home runs, three steals to this point. Not what anyone expected when they drafted Kane. But Kane has hit 300 the last two years. He's got an on-base percentage of about 350 in that time. A very good ball player. Lorenzo Kane's concern is this. Is he healthy and on the field? If Lorenzo Kane is healthy and on the field, he will be productive. That's really all you should be concerned with at the moment. If you can buy low on Kane, do so. The numbers will improve as long as he is healthy and on the field. And then the final number is five, which is the number of extra base hits the last four games for Kyle Seeger of the Mariners. Now, Seeger started out very slowly, but he does have those five extra base hits in four games, and he's also driven in seven runs. The thing that Seeger brings that so many players in the baseball world don't is that he's always on the field and he always produces. May not be elite in any category, but he's always there. In each of his big league seasons, he's hit between 258 and 266. He's had 20 home runs four straight seasons. He scored 70 runs three straight seasons. He's had 74 more, more RBIs in three of four years. When the season is over, the numbers will be there for Kyle Seager. They always are. They always have been. They always will be as long as he's healthy. Slow start or not, he is someone you can trust at the hot corner.